everyone, today I've got my Mulan movie review. With Disney skipping out on theaters to release this on their streaming service for a hefty price, is it still worth a watch? So as far as the story goes, Nikki Caro directs this Disney live action adaptation of the 1998 animated film. I had been looking forward to seeing this movie and it was quite disappointing to hear that it wasn't going to be released in theaters, which would have been amazing to see just all on the big screen. And I know with times being the way that they are right now, you know, Disney thought that this is the best that they could do regardless of how much they were uh, going to end up making because this is like 30 bucks. I don't know how many people were actually willing to, you know, pay that much, but you were probably going to pay that much at the theater anyway. So regardless, this movie sets itself apart in a way that may divide some viewers, but not everyone. There may also be other reasons you wouldn't want to see this, like if you disagree with certain comments made by the lead actress of this movie, but I'm not going to get political here, so if you want to, you can look it up, what she said. Also, the other thing about this movie that might turn people off would be that there are a bunch of changes being made to this movie. So there is no Mushu, and it is being replaced by a phoenix. And I'm, you know, not too happy about that, but I can understand why they didn't want to go that route because it would literally be like a copy and paste of the animated film like they've done in the past. They also don't have any singing numbers here and of course that's what made the animated film so good because you have all these catchy songs that we know and love and they instead use the instrumentals of those said songs and that actually didn't bother me at all and I still enjoyed myself watching this movie. Now, as far as the casting goes, you've got Louis Fay who plays Mulan, and I think she did a really good job in this movie, and I really liked how she handled her character with, uh, you know, this strength that, you know, we have seen in a lot of uh, female characters lately, and to see them in a Disney movie, and of course a, a movie like this, you needed that strong female character amongst all of these men and she's pretending to be a man in this movie and I think she does a really good job at that. You've got Donnie Yen who when he's playing this sort of general type of character all I can think of in every scene he was in was I am one with the force, the force is with me because he was in Rogue One a Star Wars story so of course he's you know stuck around with the Disney family. You've got Gong Li who I was really excited to see in this movie because she plays uh, this sorceress witch and she turns into a bird and she's just absolutely beautiful in this movie and I really loved her scenes and interactions with Mulan here. Jason Scott Lee, woo! Now if there was a hotter villain in this movie, it has to be him and he plays a pretty decent bad guy. Let me tell you, as Bori Khan. Uh, and the leader of all these black clad warriors who are not known as the Huns. I think, you know, it was really cool to see him in this movie as well. And Yo Sun An, who is this movie's Lee Shang, in, even though he's not that character like we saw in the animated movie, he was still a good addition to this story. It was just pretty awesome as well. And you might even get a Ming Na Wen cameo. And if you don't know who that is, she voiced the animated Mulan. So I thought that was really nice as well. The things that I liked about this movie was obviously since the first trailers came out, the beautiful cinematography. I just thought this movie was very beautifully shot. The art direction and the costume design were also top notch because you know how Disney likes to have their colors pop in their movies so it was just absolutely jaw-dropping and eye-popping and the stunts and the fighting styles were just so cool to watch uh, unfold on screen and of course the use of the slow-mo action worked some of the time and even though it kind of you know worked in the movie Aladdin I feel like here you know it was kind of a bit much at times but it wasn't completely distracting in the end and 
there is this powerful message that you can take away from the movie where you can be true to yourself you know kind of like that song true to your heart from the og mulan and i love how they emphasize on that with the characters actions but unfortunately the things that i didn't really like about this movie uh was that jet lee who plays the emperor in this movie he definitely sounded like he was dubbed and it's really a shame because he is it's doing such a huge disservice to his acting prowess and I know like and I really don't understand why they did that but it's just it's mind-boggling to me uh, but it's you know I, I just I can't even explain it uh, so that was the only takeaway from this movie so overall I would say that I was still pretty impressed with this movie yeah I still wish it was released in the theaters but it was still nice to watch in the comfort of my own home and it was you know pretty enjoyable to say the least so I would highly recommend seeing this movie uh, whether or not you were a fan of the Disney animated movie or uh, if you're still kind of on the fence about uh, getting it on Disney Plus I would still highly recommend seeing it so I would give this four hearts on the heart rate scale so let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Mulan and as always you guys can subscribe to my channel I've got more movie reviews movie updates come back every week for a child Thursday video you guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter and I'll see you guys later